Crackberry.com. Hello everyone, Brian here with Crackberry.com. Today I'm going to show you how to submit apps to BlackBerry World. Submitting apps is a two-part process, both done within the BlackBerry World vendor portal. Let's go ahead and get started with part one. So what you see up on the screen is the main page of the BlackBerry World vendor portal. So the first place we want to go is Manage Products. This page brings up a list of products that you've created in the past, as well as lets you create new products. So let's go ahead and click Add Product. So this is the first step of creating a new product. What we'll need to do is fill out some general information about our new app. And we have various fields we need to fill out. And there's a little question mark next to each field that helps us know what we need to put in that field. So the first one is the product name. I actually just finished a game not too long ago that I'm going to use for the example for the rest of this tutorial. So it is a game that's called Pick Reveal Blitz. Next is the SKU. I've never really seen the SKU being used for anything. So I like to just give it something like the initials of the game and then throw some numbers after it. As long as it's unique and not used before, it doesn't quite matter what it is. So next, we need to find out what category we would like to put our app into. Mine is a game that's a puzzle, so I'm going to go ahead and choose that option. Next is the rating, which will bring up a questionnaire that once you fill it out, it'll automatically come up with the rating for your app. So after filling out the questions, it's determined that my app is rated G. Now let's pick the license type. This will actually be a paid game. That'll be 99 cents, so choose the price. And then I need to pick my US and Canadian tax classification, both will be one time, and then the license model will be a static license. The next four fields you don't have to fill out. However, I like to fill out the support email. That way users can contact me if they have any issues with the app. And that's it for this page, so go ahead and click Next. Next is our product description. Here we can create product description for default, BlackBerry 7, or earlier, BlackBerry 10, BlackBerry Playbook. I'm going to just go ahead and create the default one. And it's a good idea to have this already ready, and I do. So first, I'll do my short description. That's just a one-line description. Next, I will have my long description that gives a a bit more detail about my game. And then I've come up with some keywords that'll help users find my game doing searches. So go ahead and click next after filling out the description. Now there's some images that you need to upload. The first being a product icon that's of size 480 by 480 pixels. So I also have those ready in a folder on my desktop. So here's my icon that I'd like to upload. Next is the product feature page or image. So if your app gets featured on the main carousel of BlackBerry World, you need to have a 1920 by 1186 image ready for them to pick and show on that carousel. So I have that ready as well. And then finally, some screenshots. And here's a little bit of description about the types of screenshots you can add. So I have two that are ready, one from the Z10 and then another from the Q10. I'll probably go back and add some more screenshots, but I won't bore you with showing all of the ones I'm going to add. But you get the point by me just showing a couple. So that's it for images that need to be uploaded. 
By the way, you don't have to upload screenshots, but you do have to upload an icon and a feature image. However, it's a really good idea to add screenshots because some users won't download your app if you don't have any, and I don't blame them. So now that I have that in there, go ahead and click Next. The fourth step is if you have any carrier or country restrictions. I do not, so by default it's all carriers, all countries. And the final step is reviewing everything you've put into your fields just to make sure that you've done everything that you've wanted to do. Uh, one option you do have on this is to not automatically post your application for sale once it's approved. That way, in case you want to control the exact day or time that it gets released, you can do that manually. If not, as soon as the BlackBerry World team reviews your app, it will go on sale. So everything looks good here, so I'll go ahead and click Save. So now I'm back to my Manage Products page. And I'll see that it is now added to my list. So this is the first part now finished. However, I want to go back into it by clicking Edit. I'm doing this because now they're on this first page, there's an application ID number. So this can be used inside of your app to bring up things like Review My App page within your app. So before I submit the actual file, to BlackBerry World, I'm going to log off here and do a little bit of coding, and I'll come back and show you part two. Okay, time for part two of uploading your app to BlackBerry World. So once again, I'm in the main page of the vendor portal. So I'm going to go ahead and go back into my Manage Products page. Once again, here's my list of products that I've uploaded in the past. So we'll go ahead and find the product we just made, and we'll go ahead and add a release. And we come to a five-step process that's required to actually upload the app to BlackBerry World. The first step has to do with encryption and security measures, whether or not your app performs any of those types of functions. My app does not have anything to do with that, so I can go ahead and leave the answers as no and continue on to step two. Step two has to do with third-party content. My app happens to have third-party images, so I do need to add that check mark and fill out these three questions about my third-party content. So I use images that our public domain from these websites. So I'm going to go ahead and fill out these questions and confirm that I have legal right to use this content and continue on. Step three has to do with user generated content. My app doesn't have any user-generated content, so I do not need to click that box and continue on to step four. Step four is where you upload your bar or COD files, depending on the type of app that it is, whether or not it's BlackBerry OS or BlackBerry 10 or Playbook OS. So, my first release will be version 1.0. If this was an upgrade, you can add in release notes, but since this is the first version, I'll go ahead and leave this blank because it's the first version. So now just add a file bundle. File bundle is where you'll actually define the name of your bundle, which can be anything you'd like, your platform. My app will be on a QNX platform. And I'll go ahead and do my BlackBerry 10 version first, which has a minimum OS of 10.1. Next, I'll select my devices that it supports. And it supports all the Q10, Q5, and Z10 devices. 
supports all languages. Now I'll go ahead and upload my file. So I'll go ahead and add file. And here you see that I have added my bar files to my assets folder. So I'll go ahead and click upload. And this is a pretty large app, so it will take a little bit to upload. And once the upload is complete, I'll see that the file name has been added, and I can go ahead and click OK. Next, I'm going to add another file bundle for my playbook version. The minimum OS, I believe, is 1.07. And let me go ahead and select the playbook. Once again, it supports all languages, and I'll go ahead and add the playbook bar file. And again, this should take a couple moments. And I can see that the playbook version has now been uploaded as well. So I'll go ahead and click OK. Now uploaded both apps, or both uh, bar files, one for BlackBerry 10 and one for Playbook OS. Go ahead and click Next. And step five is just to review and save our work. Now once you get to this step, you may feel like you have completed, however there is still one more step where we need to select it for submission. So go ahead and click this box and then submit release for approval. We'll get one more review of our product that we determined earlier and one final submit for review confirmation. And now we get confirmation up top that we have submitted our app for review. And if we scroll down, we'll see that there's pending review tickets open. And once it has been approved, I'll get an email and I'll see that it's now been moved to up for sale. And that about does it for uploading your apps to BlackBerry World using the vendor portal.